I'm here with John Woolard, CEO of Bright Source Energy. Welcome, and uh, I'd love to hear about the Ivanpah installation. So our, our Ivanpah installation at Bright Source will be coming online this summer, and it'll provide enough power for 140,000 homes. So it's 392 megawatts, roughly half of a nuclear power plant, if you want to size the scale. It'll be the largest solar thermal facility anywhere in the world. You made an interesting comment in your keynote earlier about uh, switching the equation from uh, kind of fossil fuels to carbon, I think 80-20 was the ratio. What does it take to get the world onto carbon-free energy? Well, right now, 80% of the, the power that we produce in the world is from carbon-emitting sources, and we need to invert that and have 80% from zero carbon sources by 2040. In order to do that, we have to build effectively a gigawatt a day of zero carbon power. That's the equivalent of a nuclear power plant every single day of zero carbon power between now and 2040. A lot of work to do. And what is the best way to do that? Which energy sources? Well, when I look at what energy sources make sense, there's a broad portfolio. Anytime you try to focus on a narrow niche, uh, you sub-optimize. So we need to build a lot of photovoltaic power on rooftops. We need to look at wind. We need to look at large-scale solar thermal that can help both wind and PV integrate into the grid because it's got dispatchability and reliability. We need to look at uh, geothermal, and we might even need to look at nuclear. The size and the scale of the challenge is very large and daunting. Ivanpah is a huge undertaking. What lessons have you learned from its uh, construction? So as we look at Ivanpah, one of the most uh, compelling pieces of it to me is that it's on schedule and on budget two years in. Bechtel's been a great contractor. They've actually really estimated everything very well in terms of what needs to get built, how to build it. NRG is a great owner and an operator. Uh, probably one of the hardest things was the permitting early on. So I think streamlining permitting is one of the most important things for renewables. And then the policy, uh, we need to make sure that we can build more Ivan Paws so better policy clarity would help all the people trying to build renewable power plants, whether it's solar or wind. Are you optimistic about Cleantech's outlook in the next five years or so in this country? Oh, I'm incredibly optimistic. I'm also daunted by the challenge, but with that big challenge comes a lot of uh, business to be done, a lot of work, and I think we've got a very bright future in front of us.